dragon stretch the tail and the crawl. This one um, is one of the um, little bit difficult one. Okay. The thing is this. Um, the, um, if you touch here, the center here, okay. and um, so above the sternum up about one and a half inches, so opposite them, opposite them, we call the uh, T5 and T6. So opposite the heart center here, right in the back here. Okay. And the, um, the, um, in the um, Dao's and the Chinese medicine, we call, we call a place where it's a blind spot, a blind spot. I mean, usually we don't move that part. So they have a very special name they call uh, Ping Yu Gao Mang, mean this place stuck, a disease set in, and is very serious. Okay. So that means uh, a blind spot where the disease will set in. So it's, um, uh, the whole theory is different. Um, the whole theory to move is very different, okay? So the first thing, um, we don't have much. Actually, when you do Tai Chi, so when you sing your sternum, and your, you sing your sternum, and you expand on the back, and there also, you can, you can get this part also, exercise, okay? So it's not, um, not a common exercise, okay? Not a common exercise that we will do it. But in Tai Chi, it's required that. I mean, in Tai Chi, usually if you don't learn it right, you just push and pull. So you don't activate this part. So when you inhale, you exhale. So when you exhale, you see, you know, when you exhale, your chest sink and you focus on the back here. And you feel that um, T5 and T6 are stretching. And you inhale and exhale. Okay. So that is the, um, uh, we call the opposite the heart. And actually, we call the heart point. Okay. So, if this point are stuck, um, the sickness, um, when it causes sickness, is very hard to cure. So they call it spring yu kao mang. Okay. And so, the number one, you need to get your neck. You need to get your neck pushing like this, number one, okay? And you feel that, you feel that your neck will have seven pieces of bone, seven cervical. And you put your chin, you make it straight a line, and you put your, and you, your heart, your, your sternum sink back, okay? And when you do the seeking sound, you twist like this. So um, the, first thing, the next thing we're going to learn is we call in the curve, find the straight. Okay? And that is um, in very important theory. Okay? So in the curve, so you, when you twist, when you twist it, so you look first if you hold your wrist, if you hold your wrist, and you hold it a little bit tight enough, and you twist your, you twist. So we call clockwise and counterclockwise force. Okay. It's just like you hold it a little bit tighter, and you try to twist your, your wrist. This way, you actually train 
your tendon power. This way you actually you are training your tendon power. Okay. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay. So this one when your thumb twist, we call clockwise. Okay. So you twist this L9 and radius boom. You twist and you hold it tight and you don't try to twist your elbow. And now you try to stretch it straight. So we call in the curve, find the straight. Okay. In the curve, you find the straight. Um, when you call something and you try to pull it tight and become very tight. So that's called in the curve, find the straight. Okay. So if you twist, you both twisting. So you clockwise, counterclockwise, see? Clockwise, counterclockwise. And when you, you make a connection again, you train it. You make connection from here to the T5 and T6. Okay? And um, it's a matter of you think, you connect, and you do it. Okay? So when you do it, when you do it, you feel that pieces of bone are activated, okay? So, um, you see, now touch on the spine. Touch, 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 don't push. Touch. Opposite the heart. Opposite the heart, okay? So you see where? You see the bone go out? The spine go out? The piece of bone are moving, okay? Next, quick. Three or four people, you can just lightly touch, okay? Touch only, so you can feel it. You see here? When I expand, I see my chest, expand that piece of bone, and tighten my neck, and I use the arm to twist. So that, so that piece of bone, I'm moving. Because this part is very hard to move. So they call ping will come on because in the sickness scan in there, the word the wording they say, the people die. <laughs> they say when you stuck and it don't move, it block, the people die. So they call ping you come on. I don't know why they say that, but it's uh, important because obviously the heart. Okay. So sometimes you know, it's the matter we call, you feel it, and you more connection. So um. This kind of movement is not a movement you used to do in a normal life. You see that? So that's why you say, how can I do it? Because this is not a normal way you're going to do it. But it's the, um, so the first thing you do, okay, and um, okay, you sit. So you sit. Now you tighten your neck. And you start with, okay, you twist your thumb, you see, your thumb twisting, and the other thumb twisting, and you turn away the back. Now you push. Your chest, sing, push, and one. You release. Now you feel the heart from the heart. Two. Inhale, relax. Three. Yeah, let it stress. Spread your front. Yeah. And you, you twist 
focus on your T11, and you sink your sternum and push that piece of bone out, okay? And you, you twist your hand, see, to the right. Twist the hand to the right. So you inhale. Exhale. You tighten your cervical. So you put your attention that you make the seven cervical plus another six thoracic align. So how? Your chin push and your chest push and you go like this. Okay. So inhale. Exhale. And relax. Exhale. Tighten your neck. Tighten your neck. And inhale. Exhale. And feel that piece of bone are moving. And rest. Rock your spine. Okay. Remember, it's the matter of is the matter of um, it is the matter of you um, uh, make the connection. So your mind started to learn to rewind, rewind that. Okay, we don't have the the pattern of the mind that rewind that they have a pattern of the brain pattern that from the brain go into the. The, 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 the spine and move them that, that kind of pattern. You don't have it. Okay. So that is a, is a, you're training yourself to do that. Okay. Now we're going to have another one we call pull the bow and shoot the arrow. Okay. This one, you get the same. So you, you pull the string and you turn. Okay. So like a bow and arrow. Okay. So this one, the string you're pulling and you go. So you sing down. And it's all emphasized on the, all emphasized on the opposite the heart. Okay. That part, if we never move it, it's very, very tight. It's very, very tight. That's why they discover that when people don't try to do some exercise on that, the area block all the nerve because you have the, you have the, um, the heart and organ, and it very and it's also connecting to all the nervous plexus. You have the brachial plexus. A solar plexus and lumbar plexus, all the nervous system there, and this one is especially the nerve that go into the heart. The the nerve that go to the heart, to the lung, to all these things, it come out from that 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 bone. And that bone, you don't move it. Eventually, the the nervous system that go into stimulate the heart is gradually not going to work well. And it's when the when that part down. You get paralyzed. That means the, 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 the nerves don't move very well and get a lot of problems for that. Okay? So that's why they, they really emphasize that. So I show you, you see here. So when you go down, so your chest, and you turn from the lumbar, and you look up, and you open your chest, you actually open your chest, and emphasize on the opposite of the heart and release. Okay. You're gonna feel that you twist them and the tendons are moving. You see? All the tendons are moving like bow. So you have number one, you have the tendons on here, on the hand. So you turn and twist and you that is the first one. Okay, you get the tendon. Okay. Number two, when you chest, all this tendon, all this, everything hold by tendons. Okay. You're opening your chest here, 
So it's not like you pulling a bow, tendon, you see? You see, if you go, let's try like this. And you, you tighten the arm like this, and you feel that, like a tendon are pulling, your tendon pulling, and the chest tendon pulling, and you feel like you're pulling a bow, okay? And you let go, it's shooting the tendon, okay? So that is what uh, we call the, um, um, is all the tendon on the um, shoulder, scapula, the ribcage, the stretch open. So it's, um, um, so they have a theory said that the people, the one that can shoot, the olden time, the people that can shoot the arrow very, very well and very far because they know how to use their own tendons. And this is one of the tendons that they have to really get it. So if from here, from the tendon from here. And the power, okay, is not muscle. It's the final part is the tendon power, okay? So, um, and that is how the, you are, you, when you do, you have to be understand in the curve, find the straight, okay? So in the curve, find the straight, the first thing you're going to do is, is you, you train yourself. To go the te- train your tendon, is go like this, okay? You twist it. So you, you hold and you turn from the thumb, a pinky finger, to the thumb. Okay. So you are, your wrist, so your wrist tendon getting strong. Your wrist tendon getting strong. Okay. And you go on, holding. So you, because you twist, in this one, you not much muscle. You have to use tendon. Okay. In this position, you have to use tendon. Okay, in this position, yeah, then, then. okay. Now, so the um, the arm and the leg have a lot of tendon. Okay. Now the tendon in the arm is when we jump. When we jump. So in um. In one tribe of African people, they never walk. They, they don't walk. <laughs> you know? And those people are very tall. Very tall. And they all, where they go, they just jump. They just jump. They just jump. You know? They just jump. They just, you know? the, the place that they have, have their law antelope. You know? The antelope also, they, they, they don't they jump. They jump. They, where they go, they just jump. You know? Jump very high. And, um, and these people are very tall. And the whole stick, and all they, all they go, they just jump, they just jump, they just jump. And that is the way they jump. You look at this, so much tendon power, okay, the jing power, okay. And that, um, and uh, all the animals are so depending on the jing power, like the tiger. Tiger, he can jump six or seven times of their own height. We cannot do it. <laughs> you cannot jump even one height of us. But the cat also, six or seven times of their jump, uh, of their height. Cat is very small, they boom, they jump up. So if you have a cat, there are no bowery. <laughs> when they get out of the house, they go to the roof, they go to everywhere, you know. And, um, and um, they, 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 so the tendon power, okay? The tendon power. Now, in the arm, the most power is on the wrist, the wrist and the controlling of the finger. So human thumb, human thumb is the most connecting and wilding into the brain, the thumb, okay? So the thumb, if we lose the thumb, you cannot do a lot of things. You can't hold a spoon, you cannot, it's very hard to write. If, if you, your thumb hurt, you can't even sign your name, you know? And that is the thumb. Okay, so that we say, <laughs> okay, number one. This is the thumb. <laughs> this is the thumb is the number one. <laughs> no. 
So the thumb, the finger, is a very tendon power, okay? And that is why the, um, we know how to move the finger. And so human train, it takes a million years, many million years. So why this, you know? You know, um, human, human know how to use a simple tool, and that is rock. And your thumb not very good yet, the thumb. So you learn how to take the rock and hit the rock and break the rock and get the sharp one for sliding um, or to hit, to kill the animal. And um, so uh, it's about four million years ago. It's four million years ago. No. So human uh, learn how to use the hand and um, animal, we are different from animal, is that animal survive because of the adapt, adapt, adaptation to be survived. But humans survive because we change the environment. You see? So we survive. Okay? We build things, we build houses, we build everything. We change the environment. Okay? Very cold, okay. We make a house. Too cold, we make a heater, and uh, we have all kinds of things. Too hot, we make an air condition, you know, and uh, we make build house, build everything. Human with the brain, we change the condition, but our structure not change. Our, we are we not adapt that much into the environment, but we change the environment. You know, animal have to adapt with the environment, and they have to live with it. So that is um. So um. And we train the finger. We learn how to hold the tool, make the tool, and everything. And that is the start at the beginning. We are different. We're making different from us. So that is the tendon, see? So spreading the tendon. Spreading the tendon. It's very important, you see? So you twist. Okay. You, you twist the... Now, so when you twist... And you, you twist, and you're coming down. Now you turn from the lumbar, and from the lower thoracic middle, look up. Now, use your scapula, use your shoulder and scapula to pull. Pull, 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 and let go. And you feel like a... Uh, a stretching of the tendon and let go. Okay. So that you have to do it until you feel that you're stretching. You see, the way that you stretch is here. When you get to this one, you, 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 you're, not, you're not pulling this like this. When you pull finish, when you finish already, you have no more extra power. The only one you can get is your shoulder and your scapula power. And that involved with the tendon. So... Now, so I pull the bow. That's all I, 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 I much I can get now. Now, if I, if I use my scapula, scapula and the shoulder, and I keep on pulling from the scapula and shoulder, and I get. So you get a double tendon power. So, now, first... You, the wrist, you see, when you turn the wrist, 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 and now you pull. Now, when you finish, scapula, look up, scapula and the shoulder, uh, and you go. So you have to use the tendon to pull, okay? Okay. 